Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1913. And in this video, like last video, we get to check out the filter function to extract records. In this video, we're going to see how to do it with an OR logical test. Last video, we saw how to do it with an AND logical test. And the most amazing of the three examples will be when we use by row and the OR function in the include argument of the filter function. Now the goal of this video is to use the filter function on these customer records, comma, and in the include argument create an or logical test. Now, these are credit customers, and we have one, two, three columns with financial data. And the OR logical test that this company uses to decide if the customer gets credit, well, it's an OR logical test. We say, of the one, two, three columns, one, two, three conditions, our last year sales from this column greater than 1.5 million? Or is the credit rating greater than seven? Or are the assets greater than 9 million? If any one of these tests are passed, and by the way, we can have any one, we could have two, or we could have three. That's the definition of an OR logical test. One or more of the tests must come out true for the OR logical test to deliver a true. Now, we're going to need to create a formula element here that has a column of trues and falses that's exactly the same number of rows as the data set. But before we do it up here, I want to show you in the cells one, two, three different methods. Then we'll take that formula element, if we can, put it in the allow argument, and bam, the filter function will work. Now, we're going to start out looking at the OR function. Now the OR function, like the AND function, is an aggregate function. It can only deliver a single answer. Even if you put the whole range in here and do the logical test like we'll do in this second column and somewhat in the third column, doesn't matter. OR is aggregate. It can only deliver a single answer. So we're going to have to check each row one by one. Now, logical one, that just means of the one, two, three tests, which one are we going to look at first? Hey, we're going to look at relative cell reference, last year sales for this customer in this row. Are you greater than the hurdle? Now we have to hit F4 to lock that cell reference. So as we copy it down, it will be locked. This one is not locked, so of course it will move to each subsequent customer last year sales, comma. Credit rating as a relative cell reference, are you greater than credit rating the hurdle, F4, comma, and then the third test, relative cell reference for assets, are you greater than 9 million F4. Now if we close parentheses, when I control enter, it delivers a true and I can copy it down. So it will give us a true or false, if I hit F2, in every single row. F2 allows us to check the locked cell references, and the relative. Now, if we wanted to, and I'm going to do this down here, we could use this column inside of filter. Once we put all of the records for all of the customers into array, comma, we can't put the OR there, but we can highlight each one of the many OR functions in this column. And notice, that range has same number of rows as the array. So when I close parentheses, control enter, there are the correct records extracted off to the side. Now, to show you that the OR function doesn't work when we put the entire column in, this construction is what we're about to do in a different form. But if we do this, control enter, forget it or only delivers a single aggregate value. So what do we need? Equals, well, we're going to need the three logical tests, and each test has to be in parentheses. We ask of the whole column, hey, how many of you are greater than the hurdle? Close. If I 
highlight, hover, you can see there's a column of trues and falses. But we need to run this as an OR logical test. Now, as opposed to an AND logical test where we use multiplication, an OR logical test uses the plus operator. And here's the reason why. When we use multiplying, when we get two trues, that's two ones. So one times one is one, which is true. Any other scenario when you have only two tests yields a false. Why? Because false times true is 0 times 1, and 0 times 1 is 0. What we want for the OR logical test is we need this to come out true. So we switch over to plus. If we get true, true, 1 plus 1 is 2. And because any non-zero number in Excel is true, and 0 is the only number that's false, of course, that's true. But the plus works when we get false plus true. 0 plus 1 is 1. That's true. True, false, 1 plus 0 equals true. It's only when we get all falses that an OR logical test comes out false. So we use the plus. And in our case, since we're going to have three tests, the possible answers in this column are 0, 1, 2, or all three. So we use the math operator plus. We put the next column in, ask the question, are any of you greater than 7? Close plus, open. Hey, how many of you are greater than 9 million? Now, we use parentheses, and we did that on purpose. The order of precedence, or order of operations, runs comparative operators after math operators. And we need all those trues and falses before we run the plus operator. All right, so when we Control Enter, we get a column of ones and zeros. One, two, three records need to be extracted. Now, I'm going to change some of the inputs just so we can see all of the possibilities 0 to 3, 8, 9.5 million. So there we get two trues. We'll put 1.5 million. Tab, 9, tab, 15 million. And we don't get 3 because what is the comparative operator? greater than. So I'll make this last year sales 1.6 million. And so those are the possibilities. Now we can use this F2 because it's delivering a full column of numbers that represent trues and falses. In filter array, highlight all the records, including the customer name, comma, include, control V, close, control enter. And it's working like a charm. Now for our last and most spectacular example, F2. Notice we do have one, two, three columns all next to each other. If we just took that as a rectangle, and they all have the same comparative operator, so greater than, and we'll compare it against this single row, and that'll allow us to use that inside a by row with the OR function inside the include argument of filter to shorten up the formula. Let's just check out the result from taking a rectangle, three columns, same order, many rows, greater than, single row, same order of columns. That row will be compared against each row and deliver an array of trues and falses. And sure enough, down here, true, true, true. That's why we got a three. Two trues, and up here, one true. Now we just have to run the OR logical test for each row to get a single column of trues and falses. We can do that with the by row function. It's going to take that lovely array of trues and falses, comma, and whatever function we put in here, it's going to run it row by row. We're putting OR, close, Control, Enter. There's our single column of trues and falses, which we F2 can use inside the allow argument of filter. Array, the entire table, comma, control V. Close, control enter. That formula is extracting the records. If I change this to 9, just like that, everything's updating. Control Z. So you can definitely use the OR function as a helper column. Put that into the second argument of filter. You can build the entire plus operator direct OR logical test array calculation. Or we can use by row and OR because 
The columns are in the same order, and the same operator is used for each calculation. All right, that was a lot of fun with by row and 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 or, all inside the include argument of the filter function. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick. Wow.